your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. That cloud cover continues to stay pretty stubborn today. We'll need to watch out for a few showers as we go through our afternoon, but it's not going to be an all day soaker. There will be areas that do stay dry, and when we're not seeing that rain, it's actually very comfortable like it is right now. Let's take a step outside and here atop Montage Mountain, the clouds are winning out much like they did yesterday, and this is something we're going to have a tough time with pretty much the entire week and even going into this weekend. It's looking like a little bit of a gloomy stretch, but as of right now, there's no rain in this cloud cover. We did have a couple of showers this morning, very light ones, mostly north of Interstate 80 and in the northern tier. But as of now, we are pretty much dry. As we take this out for a little bit of a wider view, though, we get an idea with our surface map. Here comes this cold front and some showers along with that front as well. So as this all moves east, that's where a few of our showers will come from the rest of our day today, but then those will actually taper off tonight before another little round of showers tries to move in tomorrow. So we'll have a little back and forth over the next 24 to 48 hours, really. Wilkes-Barre and Scranton were at 65, Mount Pocono 59, Hazleton 61, Pottsville at 62. So despite the cloud cover, I mean, it's still very comfortable. 60s, very seasonal for this time of year, mostly making it to the mid 60s. Today, a few spots will sneak to the upper 60s. Then overnight tonight, it does stay nice and mild with temperatures that are just gradually falling back into the 50s. And by the way, the average is right near 60, so we're decently above average today, but even more so over the next couple of days. But here's that cold front going through and a few of those showers this afternoon and going into this evening. That rain tapers off overnight tonight. Second front comes in tomorrow. That's going to keep the cloud cover here and give us another quick passing shower. But even tomorrow, things actually look pretty isolated. Then things will dry out on Thursday. High pressure can build in and try to break up those clouds to give us a little sun. We'll even try to keep some sunshine for Friday, but clouds will still be a little stubborn Friday afternoon. Next round of rain will then get here this weekend. Let's talk about the tropics because we're not quite done yet with hurricane season. We have tropical storm Epsilon, a tropical storm with winds of 50 miles per hour, gust up to 65, moving north northwest at 8 miles per hour, way out in the Atlantic. It actually is expected to strengthen into a category one hurricane sometime around Thursday, but not expected to make any impacts here in the United States. But still 26th named storm this season. 66 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. We are mostly cloudy with just a few passing showers the rest of today. Tonight will drop to 54. Another comfortable night under a mostly cloudy sky as the rain tapers off. A passing shower tomorrow, but much warmer. We're in the mid 70s. Thursday will fight to get some sunshine back at 74. We'll even try to get a little sunshine Friday right near 70. Cold front comes through Saturday. It'll fire off a couple of showers later in the day at 68. Wouldn't be surprised if there was an isolated shower Sunday, but there'll be more showers Monday as we drop further into the 